Well, good evening, everyone. Welcome to the Kitchen of Todd's Everyday Gourmet. How are you guys all doing tonight? Hey, whipping up some <clears throat> southern-style fried green tomatoes and a remoulade sauce to accompany them. Guys, this is going to be so simple, it's not even funny, okay? So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to make the remoulade sauce to go um, with the fried green tomatoes. So it'll set me, the flavors will blend in Mary, okay? So real quickly, I've got a real, a brand name mayonnaise. You want something creamy, I'm going with Hellman's. And I'm going to put in probably about, oh, I don't know, about a cup. A nice cup of that. Then I got some half and half. This is going to add a little creaminess, you guys, to the, your remoulade sauce. Now these are southern style. I'm only going in with about a teaspoon and a half of the uh, half and half. Okay guys, get that out of my way. I'm going in with a teaspoon of lemon juice. Well actually I think I'll just do a capful. Lemon juice. I use fresh if I had it, but I don't have fresh right now. Okay. Okay, I got my oil heating up. So that's why I'm... Um, let me just check it here. I got my oil heating. So I figured while I make the sauce, they'll be ready to go when it's time to fry up the tomatoes. So anyway, so yeah, this is like a real Southern style dish. Um, I am going to add some horseradish. And I'm going in with about, oh, uh, a good teaspoon. That'll add a little bit of flavor. All right, so some horseradish. I'm gonna go in with a little pepper, black pepper, just a little bit of coarse black pepper, not much. A little kosher salt, just a couple of pinches. I've got some onion powder, just a few shakes. And I've got some garlic powder, just a couple of shakes. Okay, got some hot sauce. Gonna add some hot sauce to this. Not much, just a few little drops because I'm adding in a little cayenne pepper. A few shakes. Not much. I don't want these to be too hot, but I want to have some stock taste to them. And a little bit of parsley flakes. Okay? And that's all you're gonna need. And I'm just Mixing this all up, guys. And this is going to be my dipping sauce, so to speak, for my fried southern style fried green tomatoes. You guys wait. Mm. Oh, and it smells so good. It really does. All right. Okay, guys, I'm just going to throw this in the fridge to chill while I'm doing this. Okay, so now I'm going to do my breading. I've got, oh, about a cup of flour here, okay? And I'm just adding a little bit of salt and a little bit of pepper to that, okay? That's my, my flour mixture. And then i got two eggs. Going in my bowl, my dredging bowl with two eggs. Let me get a paper towel. Yeah. So I hope you guys are all having a wonderful Sunday. Uh, had a beautiful day here on the island, weather-wise. Uh, a little chilly. Um, okay, now, forgot my buttermilk. Hold on. Okay, I'm going to go in with about a cup of buttermilk in my eggs. This is going to add a little tanginess to your your, uh, your mixture, okay? Uh, you can use milk, uh, but I like to use the buttermilk because it does add a little tanginess, okay? So about a cup of that. Make sure I have enough liquid here. Going in with a cup of that, and I'm also going in with, you got it, folks, a little bit of half and half. Probably about a half a cup. That'll thin it down just a little bit. Okay, so I'm just going to mix this up. Get her mixed up so, so I can set up my um, breading station. 
for my stewed tomatoes. I like to get it mixed up pretty good. Okay, so there's my uh, egg mixture. Now, in this bowl, I'm going in with about a cup of cornmeal. I want more cornmeal. Okay. A little cup of that. And half a cup of Italian style breadcrumbs. And then, you guys got it. I got some panko, some panko breadcrumbs. I'm using the Japanese style. They don't really have any flavor, they're just a little crispy. And I'm only gonna go in with about, oh, half a cup, quarter to a half. Just add, that'll add a nice little crispy crunch to it. All right, now, let me get this out the way. I'm going in, you guys know it. A little bit of onion powder, I mean garlic powder, about a teaspoon. Now I'm going in with some onion powder, about a teaspoon. Okay, now, you got it, cayenne pepper, half a teaspoon. Just shaking it in, just shaking it in. Donna Alley, hi, how are you? Hope you had a good birthday. Thanks for tuning in. Okay, so just a little bit of cayenne pepper. That's going to add a little heat, okay? Now... Just some gourmet paprika. How much? Oh, half teaspoon. I just do a few shakes. Adds a little smokiness to your uh, your your dredging powder. Now you guys got it. I'm gonna go in with a little seafood, soul food, soul food flavor, not seafood. I just had my old day seasoning out earlier, so and I'm only going in with about a teaspoon of this. You guys, and that's it. I'm just going to mix these up. All right, let's see here. Yeah, just get those, just get it mixed up good. Oh, you guys, mm-hmm. This is already smelling good, and I haven't even got it frying yet. Wow. All right, so, okay. Mix my salt and pepper in with my flour. Actually, I'm going to put a little salt in this. Not much. There you guys go. All right, I wish you guys could see what I'm doing. Denise Jola, how you doing? Thanks for tuning in on a Sunday night. All right, you guys, so I got my oil heating. Here's my breading station, all set up, ready to roll. Now what I'm going to do, let me move this stuff out the way just for a minute. I'm going to cut my tomatoes up, all right? I got some tomatoes to cut up. Basically, I got, oh, they're about, let's see how big they are. No bigger than like a tennis ball, uh, some of them. I'm just cutting the ends off. I'm using a bread knife serrated because it's easier to cut these tomatoes. And you want a nice, firm tomato. You don't want them soft. You can do them when they're bright, but if you overcook them, they're going to soften up. Now, a friend of mine, Vicki Wentz, she lives in the south. She lives in the hills of, uh, she lived in the mountain hills of Tennessee, and I used to love listening to her stories when she'd talk about different things that they used to cook, like do on Sundays. Now, they used to, when Christmas when tomatoes, like this were in style, she said, oh, we used to fry up tomato, uh, fried green tomatoes, she'd say, and they'd go fry up a whole bunch of food. They'd fry up uh, the fried green tomatoes. They'd do chicken wings, you know, a bunch of stuff like that. And then they'd go, she'd make a homemade iced tea. And they'd go out, sit on the porch, and overlook the mountains and the valleys, and they would eat all this food, and then talk about just different things. So I thought that was great to hear. I met Vicki um, when she rented our summer house across the street, which was my roommate's parents' house that we used to rent out uh, after they passed. We rented it out, oh, six, seven years as a rental. So I met a lot of wonderful people and got to try some different foods while they were here. Now, these are a little bit juicy. Just cutting these off. 
My oil ain't up to temp yet, but it will be in just a minute. All right, cutting these off. So she, oh, uh, yeah, so she kind of, she never made me fried green tomatoes while she was here, but I, I remember her telling me kind of how she did them. Um, so, you know, I'm kind of doing them my style because that's how I roll in the kitchen of Tom's Every Great Gourmet. Oh, Bonnie, how you doing? Thanks for tuning in. Hope you had a good week. Okay, let's see. Here. All right, almost done. So basically, yeah, I'm not going to do a lot because one, I, I'm not a huge fan of these, but my good friends, Kevin Durkee and his wife Cheryl, gave me these tomatoes. So I'm actually doing these for them. I'm going to try, you know, I'll try them, of course. They kind of, to me, remind me of a fried pickle. Not as tangy. So, um, you know, that texture you get like when you fry pickles up? That's what's happening here. So I'm going about a quarter of an inch thick on my tomatoes. You can go a quarter to a half inch thick. All right. One more tomato to cut up, guys. All right. So, yeah, my friend Vicky, I hope you, uh, I hope Vicky, you're watching and tuning in. This kind of video is dedicated to you. All right. One more slice. How you guys doing in you, out there in YouTube land, uh, world, whatever? Thanks for tuning in and watching me, you guys. I appreciate every, everyone that um, subscribes and um, tunes in, likes. I really appreciate it. Keep it going. I need to get those numbers up. All right, guys. Look, so here we go. Move my tomatoes here. You want to start out with your flour mixture first, okay? I'm going to check my oil to see if it's up to temp. You want that to be around 350. And I'm trying... Oh, here we go. So I got my uh, oil thing in right now. Let's see. She's climbing fast. And you want to do it on... You want to heat your oil... You want to do it on medium heat because you don't want to burn or scorch your uh, tomatoes. All right. I'm almost up to 350. I might have to turn her down just a tad. Let's see. See what I'm using? You guys can't say that. You use one of those thermo. All right. I'm up over. I'm going to turn this down just a tad. Let me see here. Okay, I'd say that's a medium heat right there. So, what I'm going to do, I've got some. Tongs for bread and you got Melissa Deal. Yes, I made a remoulade and I got some feta cheese in the fridge. That's a great idea. I should put some in there, Melissa. Melissa Beal, she's my cooking buddy when she's up here in Maine. So her and I always whip stuff together in the kitchen together when she's up here. We're always creating. Well, not always. Usually she's helping me cook for orders. But anyway, Melissa, I love you, darling. Miss you. All right. So going in with my first tomato, just coating them in the flour. First, okay? Getting them coated. Going in my egg mixture. Okay, let me move this so you guys can see. Oh, Patricia Huntley, thanks for tuning in. Oh, I love you, darling. Thanks. I really appreciate it. Tune in anytime. Okay, I'm going to go in the oil. No, for now I'm going in my uh, cornmeal mixture, okay? The, kind of doing these southern style. Look at this. Okay. You guys, watch. Let me move some stuff out of the way here. All my spices. Salt and peppers. Okay, you guys watch. I'm going to move my burner over here. Closer. Give me just a second. Just a second, guys. Just a second. You guys got to see this. This is going to be incredible. You guys going to love this. All right. All right. I know you guys can't see inside my pan but i'll i'll uh, you'll see okay here goes my first tomato they take about two to three two to three minutes get it coated good in this your egg mixture yeah I love breading with tongs now. I used to use my hands all the time. It always was so messy. You just want to get those nice and brown. They don't take long. Not even 
only, you know, seconds, really, because these will cook fast. I am kind of using my hands a little bit, you guys. And I'm getting golden brown, nice golden brown. The breadcrumbs add a nice crunch to them. I'll show you in just a minute here. Mm. Yeah, that one's done. See, they're not going to take long to cook. I'm hoping to get these done. And you really don't want to cook a lot at one time because you want them to cook evenly in your oil. I wonder if that's still a little too hot, I say. Oh, yeah, look at these, you guys. Mm hmm. Oh, wow. I can't wait to try these. Oh, Marcy, thanks for tuning in. You need to call me so we can discuss some details. Candy Libby, how you doing? God, these are smelling so good, you guys. Yeah, I want to leave that in there. Okay. Let me get this one breaded up and thrown in. Shake them off. Breading up another one. Mmm. So who likes fried green tomatoes? A lot of people don't care for them. I guess you have to have a taste for them. Actually, um, oh, let me get this one out. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Nice golden brown. Let me check this out. There we go. I don't want it too high. All right. So, yeah. So, fried green tomatoes. Like You have to have a taste for them. They're really well known down the south. You can cage them out with some Cajun seasoning. They do that a lot. Um, I, 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 don't, I just use the soul food seasoning. To me, it tastes about the same. So, look at this. Oh, my God. Beautiful green tomatoes. Look how nice and green those are. Oh, you look good, guys. Mmm. So it's been kind of a crazy day, weekend, busy. Um, oh, hold on, this one's done. You don't even need to salt these after they come out. I don't want to burn those up. All right, now, let me get some of these breaded up and get them in there real quick. I think it is slow a process using the tongs to bread. You know, you can do a much quicker job using your hands. Then I was going to do it like I do when I do fried clams. I said, no, I want to make sure I do them right. But I am going to use my hands on this one. To kind of help me along here. Be quicker. Oh, you guys, this smells so good. Now I'm giving this one a... My, uh, flipping that one. Wow. Yummy. Yes. These are going to be good. I'm afraid to say it, but I know they're going to be delicious. And I'm going to go get some. Yeah, the people in the South really love these. They say, oh, they're so good. I've had them a couple times. But when I was younger, and I wasn't a fan. As I get older, I feel my taste buds, you know, expand. I'm airing them out on a rack with a paper towel underneath. Yeah, they're cooking a little bit slow. I didn't want, I thought my heat was a little too high. I'm cooking on gas, so. And I'm doing it right here on my island. Lily Prue, how you doing? Thanks for tuning in, darling. Miss you. Think about you often. All right, going in the flour. Right here. Flour. My egg mixture with buttermilk. Half and half. Well, I'm stuck in there. That one's done. Let's turn this puppy over. There we go. Good. What a mess deep frying, you guys. What a mess. I think I'll go to my hands a lot quicker. All right, I've already got seven done up. Just give them a shake. Get a few more going here. Mmm, they're smelling so good, you guys. Michelle Hawkins, thanks for tuning in. Lily, you're so kind. You like fried green tomatoes? Where the hell do you get them in Maine? I'd like to go to the fairs and get, be able to buy them in a booth somewhere. 
but actually just watched that movie today, Fried Green Tomatoes. And that's not why I'm doing these. I planned on doing this video for my, my good friends Kevin and Cheryl. And they're they're going to be the lucky recipients to get these uh, tomatoes. All right. Mm-hmm. God, they're smelling good, you guys. Right, back over. I'm running out of mixture. I should have probably did a little bit, used a little bit more. It's all right. You're getting the gist of what I'm doing here, right? So, I know down in the south, they like them really spicy. Up here in Maine, we like our spice, definitely. You can bread these up, any flavor them up any way you want to do them. You can do them up. Uh, the cornmeal just adds a nice little crisp and crunch to them. And that, I'm just turning these over. There. Mm-hmm. Wow. They're smelling good. They really are. We'll see. Oh, yeah. Nice nice southern recipe right here. How is your mom doing, by the way, Sharon? Your dad, I think this is going to be the last one I'm going to fry. The other ones I've just been cut through. <laughs> there. Okay, so let me get my hands washed. Well, hey guys, I am cooking tonight, having a cocktail. Cheers. All right. I'm going to move this stuff out of the way for the time being. I'm really not going to bread up anymore. I just wanted to show you guys how simple it is to do these. And if you like them, you know, turn this one over here. I think... Oh, that one's done. Wow, what a mess I got going on here, guys. That's all right. All right, so I do have a few extra left over. Not many. I'm just going to throw them out. I don't even think the deer will eat them. All right, I'm going to grab the remoulade sauce. And a paper towel. To wipe my mess up on. What's going on here? Because I'm still not used to regulating this new burner of mine. Meredith Kane sent this to me as a gift. She's such a great friend. Um, she's doing really great with her catering business up there in Vassarboro. Her and her daughters. Wish them the best of luck. I can't wait to get up there so I can actually see them. All right. These are almost done right here. So what I'm going to do is wipe this mess up real quick. You guys don't have to see that. Yeah, what a mess. And I mean a mess, guys. So I have a plate with a fried green tomato. That's how you guys want it to look. Look at that. Mm-hmm. Now, I got this remoulade sauce. And I'm just going to go on the side of my plate with some, like this. I'm going to lightly salt, even though you don't have to. I always salt, I always salt my fried food. All right, these are looking good. Put those on the wrap. Drain them. These will do, will get a little juicy. Now, just to heat them up, what I do is put them on a, a cookie sheet with a um, bacon rack on it and heat them up in the oven. I, I air bake them, okay? All right, so you guys, I'm going in for a taste of these beauties right here. All right, let me see here. Hey, what, nice remoulade sauce on here? Mm. Mm. Oh my god. These are perfect. Mmm. Guys, I amaze myself. I really do. Um so delicious. I didn't overcook them. 
because if you overcook them, they get too mushy, okay? So that's why you want to cut them quarter of an inch to half an inch thick. Just fry it. Well, these took a little bit longer because I turned the heat down. But, oh my word. You guys, look. That's what you want to see on the inside. That. Mm-hmm. Delicious. Lisa Reynolds, how you doing? Thanks for tuning in. I really appreciate it. I'm going to take another bite, you guys. Just to mm, show you. Well, that's the middle of the cucumber. I mean, the tomato right there. Oh, my word. That relax sauce is just right spice wise. I'm feeling a taste of, you know, feeling a little bit of heat on my tongue. Um, the garlic, the onion, the lemon, a little bit of lemon and the horseradish. The horseradish to me makes this. I am gonna get the feta cheese out, Melissa, and try some of that too. But I, it's in the back fridge, you know how it is. So I'm gonna try this first. Oh, Lisa, so kind. Oh, mmm. God. Mmm. Again, mmm, delicious, delicious. Okay, I love these. Vicky, thanks for sharing your story with me. I used to sit on the porch and eat fried green tomatoes and chicken wings and whatever. I love it, and I'm glad you shared the recipe with me, even though I kind of just wung it and did my own thing. Okay, guys, thank you so much for tuning in. Every time I'm on, I really appreciate all you followers, the hats, the likes. Oh, Cindy Boucher, how you doing? I miss you, darling. I was just thinking about you the other day, you and Barney, one night when we were in high school. I think you know the night which, <laughs> the night I'm talking about. Anyway, good times. Uh, so anyway, guys, thanks, to, thanks again. I really appreciate, appreciate you all tuning in. Um, on my YouTube channel, please check me out on there. I need subscribers badly. I, you know, I need a thousand, at least 1,000 subscribers so I can go live on there. Um, you know, so I only have 65. I'm not that active on there, but I am uploading a video at least once a week, just like I am for you guys. Hey, thanks again, you guys. I really appreciate you guys tuning in. Have a wonderful work week ahead. I don't know what I'll be making next week. But I'm sure it'll be something fabulous, as always. Have a good night. Take care, guys.